Assalamu alaikum. After discussing the Bose-Einstein statistic, today we are going to discuss the Fermi-Dirac statistic and derive formula for the for, um, thermodynamic probability of a system that follow the Fermi-Dirac statistic. So a Fermi-Dirac statistic, it is applicable to a system of indistinguishable particle of odd half integral spin. And those particles are known as fermion. So fermion is a family of particle which obey Pauli exclusion principle. That is, we must have only one particle in one energy state. You cannot put more than two particle, more than one particle in an energy state. This is forbidden by the Pauli exclusion principle. So you have, for example, NJ particle that is fermion and you have to arrange them in gj energy state so for the first particle there will be gj possible location for example here in this system let's suppose we have five energy state and we have to put three particles in these five energy state so for the first particle i have five position and i can put the first particle anywhere among these empty position so for example i put the first particle at position one now for the second particle i have gj minus one possible location that is here gj is five so i have four location and i could put the second particle anywhere in these four energy state let's suppose i put it here so for the third particle now i have gj minus two location so i can put the third particle anywhere here in these three uh, left location let's suppose i put the third particle over here so similarly as i go on putting the particle in a different location so for the last particle that is for the nj particle i will have gj minus nj minus one possible location you see here when you have the third particle so you have gj minus two when you have the second particle so you have gj minus one and when you have first particles so is gj minus zero so when you have the nth particle so you must have n minus one so all the possible sequences in which we can arrange gj particle among the gj energy state could be this one okay so uh, now i can um, simplify this for example i just divide by gj minus nj pictorial and multiply by gj minus nj pictorial so if you look into the numerator so this is equal to gj pictorial so uh, the formula is omega j is equal to gj pictorial divided by gj minus 1 minus nj pictorial now as we shuffle the nj particle so that generate nj pictorial sequences for example i shuffle these two particles a and b so if i bring a over here and b over here so i have generated another microstate however if the particles are indistinguishable that is if a is equal to b so these two states are exactly the same so if i have nj particle by shuffling the uh, and then i can create nj sequences but all those nj sequences um, correspond to the same microstate it means there are repetition because of the uh, indistinguishability of the particle in these energy states so i have to remove that uh, repetition and for that i have to divide this formula by nj pictorial so the total number of sequences represented the microstate of a fermionic system are this one that is i have divided this one by nj pictorial here you have to keep in mind that nj can never be greater than gj because if nj is greater than gj then you will have to put more than one particle and an energy state which is not allowed by the Pauli exclusion principle. 
For example, I can put here only five particles. If I put here six particles, so that is not possible. But, but that is not possible because in one of the energy state, I will have to put two particles, and which is not allowed by the Pauli exclusion principle. Now, just take uh, an example where I have uh, two particles and the energy state are three. So, according to uh, this formula, I will have three possible distribution, and they are here. So. What I can do, I can put one particle over here and I could put one particle over here. I could put one particle over here and one particle over here and I could put one particle here and one particle here. Keep in mind that I cannot put two particle in one box, which is not allowed by the Pauli exclusion principle. So this formula gives me three and this distribution is also three. So uh, this is the correct uh, um, description for uh, fermionic system. Uh, just like we uh, considered an example yesterday that if we have unknown degenerate state, so what will be the uh, thermodynamic probability of that energy level? So in that case, if we use uh, this uh, formula, so gj is equal to 1 and keep in mind nj can never be greater than 1. So you can put nj is equal to 1. So if you put gj is equal to 1 and nj is equal to 1, so you will have 1. So it means there will be only one possible distribution that you could put one particle and just one energy state. Similarly, if you have an unoccupied level, so in that case, you have to put nj is equal to 0 in this formula. So again, you have omega j is equal to 1. And if you have a multi-level system, then for each level, there are different possible distribution and different energy level. So the thermodynamic probability of that multi-level system must be equal to the product of the um, uh, thermodynamic probability of the individual level. So this pi actually represents the multiplication of all the energy uh, thermodynamic probability of the energy level. So the thermodynamic probability of a system obeyed uh, fermi drag statistic is given by this relation. Uh, just like we uh, consider an example of uh, system having uh, two uh, energy level. So let's we have a system where the first energy level consists of one particle and there are two. Uh, energy state and the second energy level consists of two particles and there are three energy state like here. So according to uh, the formula on the previous page, uh, what will be the uh, thermodynamic probability of this system? So this you multiply the thermodynamic probability of this with the thermodynamic probability of this. So if you put uh, here, so in the um, First energy level, G1 is equal to 2, 2 uh, N1 is equal to 1 here, and G is equal to 3, and N is equal to 2. So after simplification, you have 6. So now we can see it here. So this is the one of the possible uh, microstate of the first energy level. And this is one of the possible energy state of the second. So we can have uh, three possible uh, energy states for this second energy level like this and each energy level will have correspond to the same um, microstate. So this microstate is associated with the three uh, microstate of the level two. Similarly, you can change uh, the particle here. So there will be another microstate and this second microstate is also associated with the three microstate of the second energy level. So overall, you have six um, microstate, one, two, three, four, five, and six of a uh, multi-level system. Similarly, uh, you can have three, four, or five level system as well. Okay, so uh, just like uh, in the previous case, I'm taking a general example of uh, six particle uh, and a total energy of six unit uh, where I have uh, seven energy level and each energy level has a degeneracy of three. Here, I cannot put uh, 
more than three particle and energy level because this is a system of fermion. So if I put one particle here, so I will have to put the remaining five particle here and which is not possible because each energy level can only accommodate three particle. And similarly, I cannot put one particle here because if I put one particle here, then I will have to put one particle here and the remaining uh, two part, uh, the remaining four particle were here, which is also not possible. So the only possibility is I put one particle here and then one two particle here. So now I will have to put the remaining three particle over here. Similarly, if I put one particle here, one particle here and one particle here. So now three unit energy, two unit energy, one unit energy and the remaining three particle here in the zero energy state. Similarly, if I put one particle there and three particle here. So three unit energy, three unit energy and the remaining two particle over here. Similarly, if I put two particle here, I will have to put two particle here. So four unit energy, two unit energy and the remaining two particle here. Similarly, if I put two, three particle over here, so there has six unit energy and then I will have to put the three particle here. So this is all uh, the possible uh, distribution. I cannot have more than five uh, um, microstates for this fermionic system. And the thermodynamic probability of each microstate is calculated over here using uh, this formula. For example, the thermodynamic probability of the first uh, microstate could be calculated uh, using this formula. For example, the GJ is the uh, same for all. So GJ is equal to 3, 3, 3 for all. We are, I have only the difference of uh, particle number. For example, in this uh, energy state, I have three particles. So I have to put NJ is equal to 3, NJ is equal to 3. And this energy level, I have two particles, so I have to put NJ is equal to 2, NJ is equal to 2. And here I have uh, one particle, so I have to put NJ is equal to 1, NJ is equal to 1. So if you simplify, so this will give you a 9. So that is written over here. Similarly, you can calculate the thermodynamic probability for this state, for this state, for this state, and for this state. And you see here, these two states have the maximum thermodynamic probability. It means these two are the most probable uh, macrostate and the average are uh, properties of the or the equilibrium property of the system will be displaced by this uh, distribution. Similarly, you can calculate the total thermodynamic probability of the system by using this formula. So you add this, 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 and this will give you 73. Similarly, you can calculate the average occupation number of each energy level. So this is zero. So of course the uh, average level is zero. This is zero. So here you have the average occupation probability as this one. As we did in the previous case, so you can calculate the um, average occupation number of the level two using uh, this formula. So you have 1.1 part and here you see there this is one so this is quite close to the so it means that uh, this uh, uh, energy level shows the equilibrium or the most probable properties of the system so uh, this was all about the formula derived statistic i hope you understand it because it's quite simple as compared to the bose einstein distribution the next lecture will be the max boardman statistic Okay, thank you. Allah Hafiz.